Yeah. It feels like second nature, actually. Once he puts his mind to it, he moves forward and he attacks it with a ferocity that I haven't seen. Oh. Lance is a workhorse. He's one of those kids that just gives it his all. Legend in the making right there. Good. I'm Lance Moon. I'm 12 years old. I play baseball for White Sox Ace, and I also play the violin. My first time seeing Lance play the violin was at the White Sox game, and I'm used to seeing like fierce, competitive Lance. And I see him in this serene state playing the violin. It was, it, it was amazing. It was incredible. He's out there in that field, and he got all these people looking at him, and he's playing that violin. It was overwhelming. I mean, I'm still smiling about it. I started playing violin when I was about six years old, and then I got into baseball when I was about nine. He's been juggling music school and baseball pretty much since then. Actually, him playing the violin has helped him with his hearing. When he was born, he had some nerve damage in his middle ear. When we discovered that he was hearing impaired, we made it our business to make sure that that would not be his crutch, attacking it with music, then with sports. ACE Amateur City Elite is a youth travel baseball program I'm ran by White Sox Charities. Practice three to four days a week, uh, games on the weekend, traveling. He's super hard on himself. He's gonna work and work hard until he gets it right. Lance doesn't use his hearing impairment as a setback. He knows what he was born with and, and he's just kind of embraced that. And he's used it as like motivation. It just pushes me, especially in baseball and the violin. Doing hard things, that's how life comes. Just because you have a hearing loss, that don't mean that you, you stop. You have to keep going. I can't say that there's any Thing that I haven't seen my son excelling. Just try to do my best. I think of it as life, actually. The violin and baseball, they take a lot of practice. I put years of work into them. Do anything you put your mind to. Play ball. Please welcome Lance Moon, Jr. Hi. Welcome, Lance. Is All right. that a smile? I think this might be the first time I've seen like you that. smile. I like that. Yeah? Now, now, you know, we are accustomed to sitting in front of people and kind of performing and knowing we're in public and people are watching, but I'm guessing that's the first time you ever played the violin in front of that many people at White Sox Park. Yeah, that's How'd right. you feel? I felt, I felt good, actually. I felt, I liked the vibe of how everything was and how everybody was there to see me and what I did. And it just put me in a position that I'm in right now. Right. Well, you did a fantastic job, and you are such a hard worker. Your coaches have said it. We can tell by that piece there, and yet you have not let your disability, your hearing impairment, nothing slow you down. Where do you pull this drive from? Well, I pull this drive from my parents, but mainly from me. Um, just me playing baseball and having this hearing aid in, yeah. or these two hearing aids, they help me make a good example of everybody that have have these hearing aids too. Yeah. It makes me push myself to do more so they can do the same that, or maybe even more than what I can do. You know what, Lance? What, whenever, whenever I meet a young person who has a hearing disability, I want to be sure and tell them, see these? Mm -hmm. See this right here? That's a hearing aid that I've worn for some time now. And, I, I, and, and as you know, I mean, without it, I, I'd, be, I'd be almost lost. Mm -hmm. and, I thought I was way too young to get mine in my 60s, so I can't imagine how you felt. <laughs> yeah. Has it been difficult for you at all? Uh, no, not really. Um, everybody treats me like I'm a regular person going to a regular school, yeah. so I don't, I don't get treated any differently from anybody else. Well, you're, you're pretty cool. I would think, if anything, <laughs> that you're not going to have a problem in any arena. You got a girlfriend? <laughs> Do you? Oh, oh, now you can't hear me. <laughs> I like that, Lance. Yeah. You're on my team. Tell me about the Sox traveling team. How does that work and how did you get on it? Well, before I played on White Sox Ace, I started off at Jackie Robinson West, the team that won oh, the yeah. uh, World yeah. yeah. And when I first started with them, they saw that I had a lot of talent. And for about three more years, I put more and more hard work in. And then I went to go try out for the White Sox Ace organization and I made it. And I remember that night, it was at like 10 o'clock. 
and my dad had woke me up telling me that I had made the team. Oh. I, I couldn't even go back to sleep. Oh. Okay, we're out of time, but real quick, what do you want to be when you grow up? A baseball player or a violinist, or both? I want to be a baseball player, but then I also want to have that violin by my side. You yeah. said the right words, Lance. Hard work. Yeah. Hard Thanks. work. Thanks for being here, Lance, yeah. and all the best to you, of course.